Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today is June 7th, 2024, and today I will be covering the new Spirit Halloween uh, video teaser that they uh, put up on their new, um, I mean put up on their YouTube channel. Um, it's like a, it's a teaser that shows little glimpses of some of the animatronics for their 2024 animatronic lineup, and uh, it's a pretty exciting teaser. Um, but we don't get like great looks at some of the animatronics, but it's still cool. So the first image we have here um, is of course, you see the carnival in the background or carnival. I'm just gonna say carnival, because carnival kind of sounds bad to me. So you see the carnival in the background and you can obviously see that this is probably gonna be the ringmaster here. You can see the golden skull, uh, the hand holding it and uh, you can see the robe. And yeah, that's probably the ringmaster I'm guessing. Because, uh, yeah, there's nothing else that would be in my opinion. And then we go on to the second image, we see... Now, this is definitely not going to be an animatronic, because this is the same exact skeleton, I think, that they used for um, the uh, Halloween factory back in 2021. Except this one has a mustache and a hat. So I don't know what this is hinting at, but you guys let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, this image obviously is of Barnaby the bear's feet. You can obviously his, see his bear claws. They're not that sharp, but yeah, I kind of wish they'd be sharper. But you can see his bare feet and his bear claws. And he's balancing on a ball, I guess. So lots of people were going to think he's going to be very similar to Monty, like standing on a box or something. But uh, yeah, lots of people were thinking he might be a reskin of Monty, but no, he's balancing on a ball. So that's actually pretty unique and cool. Can't wait to see how that plays out. So Barnaby the bear. Yeah, that's one of the ones I'm actually kind of looking forward to the most. Um, next one, this is Nibbles the Clown. You can see uh, basically the bottom half of his head, so his mouth and part of his nose, and of course his outfit, and he's holding a lollipop that he nibbled a piece out of, so this is obviously Nibbles the Clown. Um, from the looks of it, he doesn't look like a very, very good clown. He wouldn't be probably one of my favorites of the year. Maybe he would, I don't know. I just have to see the whole thing. Um, when he's officially released. But yeah, he's holding a lollipop like Uncle Charlie. Uh, I would say I definitely like him more than Uncle Charlie because I never really liked Uncle Charlie. But uh, yeah, you can see there's blood on his mouth and his outfit's like, you know, a classic clown outfit. So yeah, he does look cool, but uh, we'll just have to see. So yeah, so that's Nibbles the Clown. Next one we have, this is undoubtedly Michael Myers, the, Mi the new Michael Myers. 2024 animatronic. You can see his knife with some blood splatter on it. Can't see his face yet, but we're hoping that the face looks uh, really good. Um, his outfit, of course, is the iconic Michael Myers outfit. I'm not sure which uh, what animatronic this movie is based off of, but uh, yeah, it's a new Michael Myers animatronic, so I can't wait for him. I'm, w I'm wondering if it's going to be online only, if they're actually going to have a Michael Myers as a part of the carnival theme. So we'll, that'll be funny to see. Uh, then we have uh, Cotton Candy Dan, so you can see the clown's legs and shoes, so this is undoubtedly a clown prop. I already knew Cotton Candy Dan would be a clown prop because Cotton Candy is so clown-esque or whatever. I, I don't even know if I used that right. But uh, you can see the Cotton Candy is holding a stick with the Cotton Candy down there in a bucket. And uh, I think he like pulls the Cotton Candy up or something and it might reveal something, I don't know. But um, yeah, that's Cotton Candy Dan. I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of his... Uh, body because you can barely see him at all. You can't really say if he's, he's going to be a good or bad prop based on this photo, but I'm, I assume he'll be pretty cool. Uh, this one we have the uh, Graveyard Ghoul, who is, uh, uh, you can see the arms and hands um, behind, you know, the tombstone in the graveyard in memory of our dear friend, it says. So yeah, that's undoubtedly Graveyard Ghoul. I'm definitely going to say this is probably, based off of the photo, I don't think this is going to be one of my favorites of the year. In fact, in my ranking video, this will probably be maybe my least favorite or one of my least favorites of the year. So that's Graveyard Ghoul. Uh, so yeah, interesting there. And then we have here a, a picture of uh, a poster of Monty. So uh, I guess Monty is returning and he might be a part of the cir or carnival theme. He'll definitely fit in with the carnival theme, Monty. He's like a, you know, he's something you'd like he's like a performer, so he definitely uh, fits in with the carnival theme. So hopefully he is a part of the theme. I'm not so sure though, but there's a poster of him. It says the one and only Monty. And then it says alive at the bottom. It's covering his foot. 
Uh, here we have a photo of the creepy towering clown's legs. So yeah, he's returning. Uh, he'll be a great addition to the carnival theme. He's a classic clown from Spirit Halloween. Well, I, I guess I shouldn't say classic since he was released in, what, 2017? But he's still a great clown and uh, a fan favorite for sure. Uh, here we have Max Straw, which we can have a, uh, a little bit of a glimpse of his face and his body. And I have to say, from this photo, I'm not liking what he looks like at all. His face looks happy and about as kid-friendly as you can get with this scarecrow prop. Um, but hopefully this is one of those props where, you know, it reveals like an evil face, kind of like Henry Hustle. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have to see. Now, see, that's Max Straw. Here we have what it says, art was here. Um, and uh, yeah, this is uh, basically obviously a reference to Art the Clown from Terrifier. Uh, it's art was here, written in blood, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then here is obviously probably the cremator. I'm guessing this is the cremator. It's someone holding, a, some reaper probably holding a skull. Maybe it's gonna be headless, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's the cremator, looks pretty cool. And then, of course, here's the last photo I have where it says, Welcome to the Carnival, and it shows the carnival. You know, to the left, you can see the Monty poster, and to the right, you can see, well, I don't know what poster that is. But, um, yeah, that's uh, all I have to say. That's the analysis. That's all the photos I wanted to share with you guys. I'm kind of not really... I don't have that much time right now, so... Yeah, but the teaser is pretty cool. It reveals some nice... Uh, hints at what we should be expecting this year for 2024. So yeah, that is the uh, analysis, I guess you could say, of the Welcome to the Carnival, or Carnival, uh, video that Spirit released today, June 7th. Okay guys, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one. Bye.